Good afternoon, guys. This is Prashant Kumar again. Uh, yesterday, we talked about uh, DSCR, debt service coverage ratio, cap rate, and cash on cash, right? Um, cash on cash is primary interest of investors. Investors just talk, want to know about cash on cash mostly, uh, 8 to 10 percent over the period of uh, during the project and annualized cash and cash, maybe 14, 15. Your cap rate is for syndicators primarily, you know, anywhere from, you know, six to eight, depending upon the market. Uh, and uh, DSCR is debt service coverage ratio 1.25 and beyond, right? If you have your debt service ratio more than 1.40, you are good. Today we are going to talk about how to pick markets, okay? Um, but before that, I have a question: Is higher cap rate better or a lower cap rate better? That's a question. Everybody can give an answer, uh, whatever they think. But I will give an answer also, um, maybe towards the end of this show, uh, this present, uh, this uh, live. Is a higher cap rate better or? A lower cap rate would you go for a 15 cap property or would you rather look for you know your normal cap rate from anywhere from six to eight cap so just you know give you an answer give your answer during uh, this Facebook live and towards the end I'll talk about it okay so now where to find the cap rate right the cap so cap rate uh, of the market, you can get it from the broker. You can get it from CoStar, you can get it from Exio Market, Exio Metrics. Um, it's very simple to find. Any broker who is sending an OM will give you the cap rate, right? There's no problem there. So, so basically when you are looking at a market, what are the characteristics that you should be looking in the market, right? If you go on Google and type population of Atlanta, you will come up with a graph which will give you population growth in that market in this case Atlanta from year 2000 to 2016 right so if your population in if your population is more than a million um, you you probably want to see at least 10 percent growth in in last 15 years from year 2000 to 2016 you should look at at least that much. These are my criteria, and you know, and the, there can be exceptions also. But I'm I'm talking in general. If you if the population of the area is um, of the market is in more than a million, then you probably are talking about uh, you probably are talking about uh, ten percent growth. That that's what you should look for. If your population of the if the market is less than 1 million, you should look for at least 20% population growth. Uh, it means that at least the population is growing in those uh, cities, you know, markets or some markets, wherever you are looking, uh, whatever you are trying to shortlist for your, um, you know, syndication purposes. Then you want to look at the medium income growth, right? Um, if you go to citydata.com, you can definitely find the median income growth in last uh, 15 years from 2000 to 2016 medium income growth you should look for at least 30 percent in 15 years right and similarly the household price should should go um, should should be should be increasing at least 40 percent these are some of the criteria which i look for uh, and you can you should also look for these you know some variations positive or negative plus minus few percent are okay um, and you, you want to look at the crime rate crime rate is also available in citydata.com um, your crime rate for the city should be uh, less than 500 right that's their index or something um, if you look at Orlando you you still see a little bit higher crime rate but Orlando is still a good market because in year 2000 that well, that crime rate, crime index was pretty high so they have gone down significantly so you have to look at overall picture but in, in general rule of thumbs are population growth um, you know uh, population growth income growth of population growth of 10 or 20 percent depending upon how much is the population 
uh, income growth of at least 30 percent uh, household prices have gone up at least 40 percent in and uh, in last 15 years and the crime rate is below 500 today these are few things that i would look at to begin with before i before i pick my market right and where do i find these things you know as i said you can go to google you can go to uh, citydata.com um, you know couple, and to find the landlord friendly state landlordstation.com you know you can find the top uh, landlord friendly states you know texas is number 1 um, then indianapolis uh, colorado georgia and uh, and Missouri and kentucky and whatnot I, it list goes on you can you can check the list uh, not to brag about myself but i have investments in all those four top states uh, Texas, I have 24 unit. Atlanta, I have 40 unit and 128 unit, about six, you know, 170 units. Then Indianapolis and then Colorado, also I have some some investments. So these are uh, you know landlordstation.com, and then you should look at price to rent ratio. You know, smartasset.com gives you the price to rent ratio. You don't want to go for very high price to rent ratio or very low price to rent ratio. Um, you know anywhere from 15 to 23 is fine uh, if you go very low price to rent ratio then your churn is very fast right uh, basically you know people come in six months they are out they are buying their own houses if you're going for very high price to rent ratio uh, you know your quality of tenant is not so good so you know you would have more delinquency so you should find a middle ground anywhere from 15 to 23 right for job growth you know you can look for department uh, of numbers um, slash employment you can find out the job growth there as long as your job growth is more than two percent you know and some of these places in texas um, you know florida um, boise idaho these places have very significant job growth over the last couple of years the department of number gives you uh, one year change in the job growth uh, you can look there um, basically and uh, um, you there are certain cities like Atlantic City and all where the job growth is like 5.5 percent you know Atlantic City had few uh, good uh, casinos coming up that's why their job growth is high uh, you don't want to look at them you know find out the reason why I mean because of certain employers um job has job growth has gone up you don't want to look at those situations so th these are some of the things basically you know some of the some of the resources uh you know of course zillow zillow.com slash home values you can see how much is the home what are the home values zillow yardy metrics you know apartment list uh, so basically what you are looking for is uh if if the rent is growing you are looking for cash flow if the if you are looking for price growth that is equivalent to the appreciation so you have to see what kind of investment you are trying to do uh, cash flow is the king uh, in the syndication industry you really want to see uh, select the market where the rents are consistently increasing uh, price is increasing um, you know that's for, for for a later point hi david hi travis thanks for joining uh, so basically coming back you know it's about nine minutes now uh, I would like to ask uh, give the answer of my question you know I asked the question would a higher cap rate better or a lower cap rate right so the answer to that is it depends on the market if you are if you are getting a property from from a, from a wholesaler 22 cap rate come in you know 48 unit property portfolio in Ohio uh, 22 24 cap rate you would think that I, I would buy this and I would retire on this but you know my 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 honest opinion is just run away from those portfolios there is nothing called 20 cap rate or uh, more than 15 cap rate or 12 cap rate maybe 12 is okay but there's nothing more than 15 cap rate in real estate anywhere so do not higher the cap rate you have more than you have more risk involved and the cap rate which is being offered in those in those uh, emails they are primarily performa uh, chances are nobody is paying the rent there you go there out of state investor you're not going to get your money back so 
time time is up now guys i will talk to you tomorrow again but one thing i would like you to do is think about your weekly goals tomorrow is sunday and i'll be talking for another two three weeks so think about your weekly goals and tomorrow i would like to ask you one goal which you would do next week so think about that and tomorrow respond to that um, and then we will uh, we will continue to talk about that following sunday and the sunday after okay all right thank you so much and i'll talk to you tomorrow once again uh, today i was talking about uh, primarily how to pick your markets if you want to spend some time look at these resources which i said google you know city data uh, you know smart assets uh, uh, axiometrics uh, you know yardy metrics uh, and and do some research all right guys thank you so much i'll talk to you tomorrow bye bye